So I am lying down because I feel terrible today. Uh, I think um, I came down with either food poisoning or I have stomach flu of some sort, but um, it's just been a very difficult day, spending a lot of time uh, just laying down here and taking a nap, uh, spending time in the bathroom, um, but constantly feeling just terrible. But I can't break the streak. We're still uh, going on consecutive days here with the daily vlog. So as junk as I feel, I still want to keep this going as we continue on with our journey of, um, you know, dealing with anxiety. And uh, I guess it's appropriate that I'm not feeling good today because um, I actually had a doctor's appointment where I was supposed to follow up with my doctor to see how the new medication, the new anxiety medication was working for me and such. And thankfully, um, I could talk to her about this, you know, whatever flu that like symptoms I'm feeling. So she is able to prescribe me some medication. So hopefully um, I can get to the pharmacy and pick it up tonight. And that should make me feel better. Um, but uh, I guess I figured I'd talk about this medication. Um, for the longest time, I used to think that one medication was good, but also scary in that, you know, you hear that the medical reasoning is, you know, there's chemical imbalances and the medication will help even those things out so that you can, um, you know, function at the way you're supposed to. Um, but then I also hear about all of these, you know, stories. And in fact, I even had uh, an incident where this, uh, my former, the place that I used to live at, at my apartment building, um, the guy who was in the unit above me flooded his apartment and uh, which hence flooded my apartment and I had all kinds of water damage and stuff. And when we found, when I went upstairs to see what was going on, because I thought maybe he didn't know that he had a leak in his apartment, I came to find uh, his place was in, in just a huge mess uh, and all kinds of stuff he brought out into the common hallway and he had like a table saw and he was trying to saw through the concrete floor and he had filled his kitchen sink with um, oatmeal oats, dried oats and uh, put uh, big like comforters and, and sheets uh, all over the place and was uh, pouring buckets of water on him and stuff and leaving all of his sinks running in the bathroom in the kitchen and and I, we couldn't reason with him he kept saying like how he's he was contracted by the government to uh fix the the building and what he was doing was fixing the building and um he started and we had to bring in the fire department and the police and they had to take him away and took him to uh the kahi mohala and stuff like that for like a month or something and what was told to me was that it was because he was off of his meds. And so when, you know, I hear stuff like that and it's like, oh man, meds uh, could be the, the blessing and the curse, right? And so when you hear those things where people, it's, it's like, well, if meds make you feel better, then why don't you stay on them? Well, there's all these side effects and People don't like being on the meds and stuff. And so when they get off of them, uh, sometimes bad things happen. And I was like, man, uh, I'm excited to get these meds and that maybe it'll help me. But I'm also terrified because I'm like, well, is that going to make me crazy and stuff? And then there's another part of me which is like, man, is this uh, is this a sign of weakness? You know, like... Um, Am I uh, on these meds because, you know, I can't do it myself and stuff like that. But um, I decided it's, you know, I got people with their best interest, uh, with my best interest in mind, and they're helping me with it. And they are suggesting that this will help and I trust them. Um, so 
that's why I said, okay, let's do it. So uh, it's been maybe a month and a half or two that I've been on this medication. And we started off with um, low doses. And so um, today when I met with my doctor, I said, I know it's small differences. Like it's, there, there's definitely less um, anxiety and, and it's not as intense. Um, you know, the shortness of breath and stuff and the uh, fast beating heart and stuff uh, hasn't been as frequent and it's it lasts for a, a much shorter amount of time. But I'm still having like really crazy vivid dreams and uh, feeling still exhausted and um, not well rested most of the time. And... Um, and things like that. So um, they had said that, you know, we started off with a small dosage because just want to see how it would work and how I'd react. So we can uh, up the dosage and hopefully that'll make even more of an improvement. So uh, I'm, I'm down with that. Um, but yeah, even just talking about it here, you, there's a sense of shame. You know, it's like, oh, I'm on medication. I'm weak or, you know, stuff like that. And I wish it wasn't like that. And I, I bet... I would love to believe that most people um, don't think of it that way. Uh, and this is more self-inflicted and um, just my paranoia or anxiety uh, making me think this way. But um, maybe maybe it is true. Maybe the general consensus is that it's, it's a sign of weakness. I'm not sure. Uh, I do feel like there are tons of people uh, on medication. So it's maybe more common than I than I would think. Um, but yeah, love to get your opinion on that. Uh, help me feel a little better. And even if you do agree that you think it is a sign of weakness, uh, that would help to know just because then it would validate my feelings. <laughs> but uh, just, I don't want, I, I just don't want, uh, you know, people to not say anything or to, to lie um, just to spare my feelings. I think uh, regardless, if you think it's a sign of weakness or not, I'll still just, I think I feel confident enough to stick with my uh, plans and that I will still continue to go on this journey of um, recovery and healing or, or not recovery, but yeah, this journey with the proper um, uh, suggestions and help from the professionals around me. But anyways, uh, this is probably a really weird and awkward uh, episode because I'm laying down and it looks probably really weird uh, but uh, I'm not really thinking with a clear mind right now because like I said I feel so miserable and my head is pounding and who knows what is going on hopefully this was uh, an appropriate episode and conversation and if it uh, made anyone feel uncomfortable or if uh, I spoke too much and I feel like I already am right now. Uh, my apologies. Blame it on whatever is happening here. Anyways, uh, I will check in with you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, hey, can you do me a favor? If you like the video, can you hit that like button for me? And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too, so that we can continue on this journey together. All right, and uh, hey, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, let's continue this conversation in the comments below. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for another daily vlog. Bye.